Hi, Dave from Buzzy here. In today's video, we'll look at basic form validation with the Buzzy Figma plugin using show and hide formulas. So as an example, I've got a little form here. It's for a to-do app or a task list app. I'm gonna add a new task here, but what I don't want is I don't want people to be able to add an empty task. Um, the description's optional. The due date is defaulted to today via the advanced field settings, but the title is mandatory. I wanna check that there's a title there before they can click the add button. So how do we do that with the Buzzy Figma plugin? We jump over to Figma. Here's my app design. Um, I'll make this file available in the Buzzy Figma community so you'll be able to check it out for yourself. Here's my form. Um, dive down here, there's a row with my buttons on it. Now I've already created a disabled state for that button so I'll just turn that on there. So I've got a cancel button a disabled add button and the normal add button which will submit the form. Now these buttons have already got the button action defined on them. That's the submit button, the add one, sorry the disabled one doesn't have any action because it doesn't do anything, it's disabled, the cancel button will go back um, or close the form. So to put a show or hide formula around them to toggle them on and off depending on a condition I need to wrap these first in a frame so the easiest way to do that is putting an auto layer around them so it will size itself to suit the size of the button. I'll just get rid of the margin, sorry, the padding and spacing. There we go. So now I have two frames which are wrapped around my buttons. Now I'll just call these, call this add task enabled. And this one can be add task disabled. Okay, so now to use a show and hide formula in Buzzy, we need to make these a component of type layout. Okay, so this button is now wrapped in a layout component called add task enabled. It inherits the layer name by default, but we can change that if we want. Now down here, there's a visibility setting. Now this is where we can turn on this item or turn it off if it meets a condition. So instead of always visible, we'll select only show when. Now we only want to show this button when the title field in this instance has a value. Now this field down here is where you put that conditional formula and Buzzy uses JSONata. I'll put a link in the description for that. So that's the formatting language that you, we use for these formulas. So in this case, what this does is this field, this formula will just evaluate to true or false. So whatever we put in here will eventually spit out a true or false value and that will then trigger this condition here. So it'll only show the button when this returns true. If it's false, it won't show. So in our case here, we just need to put the field name, which is title. Uh, I use backticks around my field names. It's not required for single words, but if your field name has a space in it, it needs a backtick around it to um, to escape the space character basically. So it's good practice just to put back ticks around your field names here. Now I could check for the, a specific value. I could make sure that title equals aardvark or I could check for an actual specific value. If it's a number, I could check for a number or if it's a select field, I could check for an actual selection value, an option and so on. But if I just need to check for the presence of a simple string, I can just put the actual field name here. This will return if there's a value there it will return true if there's not it will return false so this is all i need to do um, for the disabled button we'll do the same thing make it a component of type layout um, down here we want to hide this one when there's a value in title so it's the same formula as the enabled button basically one shows one hides that's it if I now publish my app or update my app and we'll jump back to our preview we'll see it there we go it's just refreshed itself for us there's my disabled add button because it's meeting that condition title is evaluated as false. If I put any sort of value in here, blur the field, 
it's checked against that condition and my enable button is now showing and I can submit away and my new task has been added. Right, so stick around the next video I'll be looking at other use cases for show hide formulas um, using this same example app. So be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching.